Today we're going to have a look at masks. We're going to learn how to create them, how to join them, how to move them around with keyframes, and we're also going to have a look at zoom and defocus. I know it sounds a lot, but I'm going to make this as quick as possible, so let's jump into Fusion. Okay, so here we have the media in and the media out. You can see the blocks have a, a blue triangle. This is the input for the masks. So we're going to create a few shapes to block a part of the media and create the mask. Let's start with creating the ellipse and we can adjust the size here. We can use the handles or if we want to be more precise we can just select this value and give it the proper size and that's one. If you've seen the thumbnail which I'm sure you did otherwise you, you wouldn't be here we need to create another ellipse and as you can see it goes to the blue triangle so we now have one mask and another mask Okay, let's see the first mask there and the second mask there. At the moment the black corresponds to transparent so these ellipses are actually blocking whatever image we're gonna have behind and that's not what we want. We want these ellipses here to be transparent so we have to invert this. If you click on the first one we invert and on the second one, we invert as well. You can see here that on the second ellipse, on the second block, we have a paint mode. And we need to play with this. You can see they have different areas. So we need to choose minimum. Now we have both transparent. If we join it to the media, what we have is transparent, which again is not what we want. So we're going to change this. We're going to create the background to cover the, the image and then we're going to merge with the media. It's easier than it sounds, so let's do it. Just keep watching. If you press Shift plus Space, you get the Select Tool menu. Here we're going to go for Background. If you couldn't see it here, you could just type Background or BG and it will come up. So now we're going to connect this to the blue triangle which is the mask input and there you go we have the transparent window and we have the black background let's give it a bit transparency that's done and now we can drag that output of that block to the output of the media in and that's going to create a merge block and on the merge block you can see now that we have a window that allows us to see whatever it's underneath. So we have our mask done, now we want to move it. How can we do that? We're going to transform the position of this mask on the background. So now we need again shift plus space to bring the menu up and we're going to look for transform. Transform, add. If you press shift and click to drag you can release it on the line when it's highlighted and it will insert it there. We're gonna see it on the first viewer and our media out the last viewer. Now we're gonna use this transform block. We're gonna create a keyframe right at the start of our timeline so we know where the position of this window is when we start. Then we're gonna go to 80 and move it. And as you can see, it generated another keyframe. Now move a few more seconds forward and move our window to the left. It has generated another keyframe. Now a second or so further and we're gonna come back and we found the target. Let's actually create some soft edges on around these binoculars. It looks better. So just go on soft edge on each ellipse. Let's say 0.02. Okay, let's run this. Guys, this is in Fusion. As you can see, this is flashing, means it's processing all the effects. If you go on the editor, on the timeline, you will see that it's much faster than this. So let's speed it up a bit. Okay, so now we want to simulate the zoom-in effect from the binoculars. What we need is a transform block 
between our media in and our merge because what we're going to zoom in is the original footage not the mask or the background so let's get a transform block shift plus space transform add and then shift left click drag it to the highlighted line we now have our transform block in place we want to make sure that we're gonna start zooming in when the mask move finished so if we go to the last keyframe select it and now go back to our transform block and keyframe it to original size one and then a few seconds later keyframe and increase the size but see we are zooming in in the wrong place we need to shift the pivot point for that we click on the handle and press tab key until the X is selected that is the pivot point we drag it to where we want the focal point to be release it and now we can change our zoom we can increase it and it's gonna zoom in exactly where we want let's overdo this a bit and now we're going to decrease it to the size we actually want and that's it our mask animation and our zoom in is done okay so now we need a defocus block again shift left click and drag it insert it to the line and we have to coordinate it now with the time frames we have on the zoom in so when we start before we start the zoom in we want the focus to be perfect okay so here we go keyframe it with the focus size zero now we go to the next keyframe on the zoom and we're going to keyframe it out of focus you can see that the defocus block has green text that means it's actually rendering it's processing the defocus and we have to wait until it finishes and there we go now we want to again get the proper focus on the last position and on the last zoom effect let's go back to our timeline and see what we've got so far we will need to wait for this to render as well this red line here needs to turn blue if you want to, to see a smooth preview so let's wait for it okay I think we need to make some adjustments here let's go back to the fusion tab if you go to the top right corner we have the keyframes tab there if we click on it we can see any keyframes we have on any of the blocks and here we can do any adjustments we want if we double click it will expand and you can see that we have keyframes for size if you click on size you can adjust all the keyframes at the same time on that block if you want the same with the defocus double click select defocus size then you can move them all together let's line them up and let's try now again on our timeline on the editor but again we're gonna have to wait for it to render it's all rendered so let's play it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if you have any questions or suggestions for the next videos just please leave them on the comment section below and I will try to address them all as soon as possible have fun guys